the pandemic definitely did have an effect. I think I'd worked so hard for so long and like so consistently as well. That was the first time that we'd been forced to not tour. Like, right, I've got to go back and just sit and just do nothing. I wrote a bit, but it was an it was a time to really think about like what made me happy and what I wanted to do with the next like 10 years of my life. I've really missed live shows. They sustain me a lot, and um, I don't think I realised that until we took two years off. So I think coming back to it now, I'm like, um, live is everything for me, and getting to kind of sing and interact with people, that's the reason that you do it. I always say, like, if you want to get to know the band and us as musicians and me as a musician, come and watch the live show. That I think is the best showcase of us because you get all the energy as well as the songs and yeah, that's where I think we um, we sit best. I am here. Oh my god! <laughs> Hello. Oh. Very lovely surprise there. My sister, who I didn't think was going to be able to come and see any of the tour dates, has come down from London, up from London, uh, to come and watch the Birmingham show. It's really nice. Haven't seen her in a little while. It was really special having my sister and my parents there because they've supported me through everything that I've done and they were the ones who came to the shows that I was doing around Birmingham when I was 14 years old and like always giving me the confidence to pursue music. So to get the opportunity to have them at these shows is beautiful. Just, there's so many hours in the day that are just like, you're delirious for a lot of it because you're waiting around and you're sat in like a small dressing room. Should we do them, uh, the shot now? Because yeah, we're just rushing yeah. now, aren't we? You got a time when you have your first drink because you, if you go too early, it's, it's not going to be a good show for you, especially for the crowd. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Wait, we need a yellow oh, oh, yeah. yeah. right. yeah. yeah. right. Cheers, babies. Let's get it in. We'd rehearse like so intensely beforehand that I felt confident in the set, so I was like, I just want to go out and enjoy myself and give as much as I can. But it didn't feel like it had been two years, it didn't feel like we hadn't played a show since the last tour. I keep coming back Where it all fell apart so I try and treat my emotions Till I can't feel my heart yeah. I know what music felt like to me growing up and I know what like bands were to me growing up. It creates communities that people can feel part of and they can feel safe in. People might be going through bad times at home or at school or in relationships and music has the ability to kind of take you out of that. I'll always like see it as a challenge. Can they be louder? Can they jump more? Can they do this? Like push them as hard as I can. And that's why I still to this day feel so lucky that I get to do what I do because you create in those moments for other people as well as yourself. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We love you endlessly. This song is called Missing You. There's a song called Missing You that the fans tend to sing really loud. And that was a very personal song for me. like a song that I wrote out of a place of like I felt like I really needed to write that and it really helped me and it kind of came out the other side better after having written it and then once you kind of have lived with it for a bit it does for me it's like very therapeutic and it kind of kind of puts a bookmark at a certain point so when you go out and you hear the fans sing it that has then taken on a new lease of life for all of these people. And what it meant to me when I was writing it is completely different to what it means to that girl in the front row.
I think when you hear it sung back, you hear all of the different stories and the different like meanings that it has for those people as well. It's a very overwhelming feeling because it's like seeing all of those people together singing is such a unifying thing. There's so many things in the world that have been in the past like two years that have been very kind of like rip people apart, people going through hard things. And I think that's why it's quite overwhelming because it feels like a bigger thing than just in that room. Thank you so, so much. This band, I want it to be a safe space for all of those people who follow it and know that they can come to a show and be whoever they want to be. They can walk away from the venue afterwards feeling like topped up with love and positivity. I think if at some point I imagine all of us will pursue different things, I think we'll all do different projects, but we know that like we're so solid as a unit, we know that we will come back and always like be doing albums and doing tours as the Vamps. I hope that we can always continue to tour and like play shows, I hope that we can always continue to write music and be good friends. Come on! Come on! I'm Although it's 10 years, it still feels very early on in the band's career. Off to the show for soundcheck. No nerves at this point, it's just excitement, really. It's coming home! It's, it's coming home! It's coming home! It's coming home! I feel like when I'm sober, I'm actually hitting the right notes. Yeah, I'm loving the shows, I'm loving the, the whole experience. It's great.